Hi, I'm Tom Sheavy, and welcome to Trailer Talk. Today we're going to talk about trailer tires. I know, boring, but you may not know what you don't know about trailer tires, so pay attention. Your horse's lives may depend on it. This is a tire. Well, actually, it's an illustration of a tire. Now, you don't need to know all the crap on this tire, like tread wear, traction, temperature grades, and composition. But if you're buying a trailer, replacing tires, and maintaining tires, there is information here you should know. First of all, there are three basic types of tires. Passenger tires, indicated by a large letter P. Light truck tires, indicated by large letters LT. And trailer tires, which you would think would be indicated by TT, but who knows why, is indicated by letters ST, which stands for a special trailer. And guess what? A tire has a build date stamped right into the tire, which is sort of like an expiration date in reverse. Four numbers state what week and month the tire was built. For example, 1411 would be the 14th week of 2011. Since the integrity of the tire deteriorates with age, glues dry out, and weather takes its toll, you'd be prudent to replace them every six years whether they look like they need it or not. And very important, always check build date before purchasing the tires. Trailer tires don't sell every day as do passenger tires. They could have been sitting on a distributor's shelf for the last couple years. Now, I bet you didn't know the tires had speed limits. That's right, and the tire companies don't make it simple to find it. Some genius decided to put letters on the tires to indicate the speed limit, so you have to locate that letter on the tire, then look it up on a speed tire chart. But I can save you all that trouble. Most all trailer tires have a speed rating up to 65 miles per hour. It's not enough, because if you exceed the speed limit, which you will on an interstate, the tires will heat up and possibly blow. Almost all trailer tires are made outside the country except for Goodyear Endurance. My hat's off to them. Not only does Goodyear Endurance have stronger sidewalls for increased safety, they have a speed limit of 87 miles per hour. It's what I put standard on Equispirits, and I highly recommend them for any trailer. Okay, we're about there. Just a few more important items to go. Load range. I never really cared much for that term, and it's also another letter on the tire that you have to find on another chart. But load range is the amount of weight the tire can hold and still be safe. Obviously one tire will not hold the entire weight of the trailer, but all tires added together will. That's exactly why a trailer has to be level. And then there's tire pressure, which is the final most important piece of information you need to know. So why tire companies bury the tire pressure in a small print where you need a magnifying glass to see it, I'll never know. At least it's not the letter that you have to look up. It's an actual number followed by the initials PSI, which means pounds per square inch. No matter what anyone tells you, fill the tires to the max. They flex less and therefore ride cooler and are less apt to blow. The information I've shared with you in this video is the most important things to know about trailer tires, but I've run out of time to tell you about many of the do's and don'ts. The good news is the rest of the information is available and you can get it in one of three ways. Visit our website, equispirit.com, click on Safety First, then click on Articles and Quick Tips. Or just email me or my cohort, Tim. He has been certified for over 10 years in horse rescue and has learned firsthand the many things that cause trailer accidents. Or just call us. We love chatting about horse trailers and horse trailer safety. Remember, horses matter, and trailering safe not only protects your horses, it protects you and others out on the road.